its position in the centre of Mayfair. It's a beautiful little gem of a space. The concept was a little straightforward, which was about the family. So three family members, all artists, and how they come together. Obviously, I was looking particularly at their most recent work because that's what's exciting. All of them work with their hands. All of them are, by essence, they're people very, very concerned about nature. Richard the Younger's, his wood pieces and some of Henry's new Scagliola pieces had this really kind of interesting dynamic together. And then I felt that Richard Senior's work, particularly the stainless steel work, had, you know, this kind of brightness and reflective surface to actually make the whole room come together. By coming down into a space like this and working with both my sons, it's an incredible experience, you know, for a father to be able to experience the sort of the relationship between their work. As you can see, they're all different, but in a, in a strange sense, there's cohesiveness. My inspiration comes from coming from a farming background, walking through the fields with my mother, who was very good at explaining nature to us. She always said, oh, don't just look at the whole plant, look at all the little intricate details going on in those plants. Plus, I've traveled a lot and I love landscapes and things, and so you can see from my work the sort of the, the flow. Like anything, you know, you, you've got a small plant, but if you look at it closely, you've got all those little intricate bits, but then, you know, then you start looking at the galaxy and it's, it's vast. There are particles flowing through everything, so I feel in some senses, in an organic form, I'm sort of molding things together in the shape. We're all floating little bubbles in the universe. My practice is quite varied, but it tends to fall into painting with sculpture. These particular works are made uh, with plaster, glue and pigments. It's a doughing technique and it's called scagliola, which was invented initially by the Romans. And then in the 18th century, the Italians really took it on and made it very more innate. The main theme running through is water, our use of water, and also relationship to water. The show here is quite broad in the sense of what you're looking at. There's nuclear power stations in front of water, lakes and ponds. There's the River Thames, and there's actually artificial intelligent composition works that I've made using AI based on photographs from travels that I've taken. I left uh, London and went back to the countryside after working in film. And I found just walking around through the woods, I kept finding things that had kind of already been slightly made by nature that inspired me. I didn't really know what I was making at the time, I just started making it and through experimentation, mistakes and things I learned on movie sets on making things look like other things, I started to sort of craft different elements together. Sometimes some of the works take years to make because it's just that I sort of evol it evolves over several years until the final product. A lot of my work has cracks in it and a lot of my work is about cracks. A lot of the work's polished, but you can see cracks in it because the work is very psychological. The collection I've got here is called the Requiem Collection. So when you see a mass in Italy or whatever, in the 1700s, they had incredible costumes and huge headdresses and there's a sort of power about it. There was definitely the family ties, but definitely a kind of a visual um, stimulus. The work all pulls together, I think, in a really interesting way. Hopefully people can make the connection between the sort of the psychology of a father and two sons uh, who are all individuals, but are coming together to look individually at our works, but as a whole, 